Greetings and salutations from Oscar Lineback, Apostle Nathaniel. I want you to take a look around in my yard. You see all these trees in bloom that have been blooming. These over here, leaves everywhere. This bush here was dead. Remember, because it's got a tree growing inside of it right here. It has a tree growing inside. So you can see that tree. A few days ago, I spoke life to this tree, to this bush. But you can see it's still dead. It looks like it's still dead. I spoke life to this bush a few days ago. And as you can see, where's it at? Here it is. There's life on this bush now. You can still see it's dead everywhere else so far. I'm speaking life. I have spoken life into this bush. You can see other buds starting to bloom. Let me see where it is. How do I do this? Too much sunlight. You can see there are buds. On the uh, tree branch here, see that over here, right here. Harder. I don't know if I can get see it. Where is it? Where's, where's my hand at? Where's my hand at? Here it is. You see that? There's there's life coming on these branches. I spoke that in a few days ago. A few, I spoke that a few days ago to bring life back to this bush. Because this right here is how the bush looks, with the exception of that oak tree growing in it, which I have to cut down. This is how the bush looks. Now all these other trees, they got blooms on them. Now I'm not a. Hang on. I'm not a great, you know. Horticulture, I have studied horticulture for a little while. I have studied these things. And uh, I think this is kind of unique too. I've never seen this before. Maybe I have, I don't remember. Not on this tree though. This tree had full of, was full of blooms. You can see where the blooms have died, have died on this thing. Right here. You can see where the blooms have died. But look at it. It also blooms on the tree itself. It blooms on the actual tree it, itself and not just on the limbs where the leaves are. It, it blooms on the actual bark of the tree as well. It's not doing it all over the place. It's just right up in here. I don't know if that's the way it normally is. Now, the unique feature about what I'm doing right now is I don't know if I can do this. I'm going to try to do this illegally. I'm going to break a few laws here in just a second. Give me a second, I'm going to pause you. Okay, say hi to my chickens. Hey, chickens! You crazy birds! Now I'm going to do something illegal here. Step into my neighbor's yard. Do you see that bush? All blurry right there. The one. That little bush right there. He's got the same bush in his yard that I have. That's in the front yard. He's got the same bush. 
It's got leaves on it. It's got white flowers on it. It's alive. It's the same bush. He used to own this property. My parents bought this property from him. It's the same bush. Hang on. See? It's the same. It's the same bush. This bush here is the same bush my neighbor has back here. His bush is full of leaves and flowers. Mine had died until I spoke to it a couple days ago. And now, you can see buds all over it. You can see buds all over it. See that? Right here. You can see buds all over it. Only a few places. Right here. Let me see if I can do this a little bit better. See that? It's got buds all over it. You can see it. It's the same bush that my neighbor has back there that I just showed you. His has got full of leaves and full of flowers. I had to speak life back in the mind. That's the power of Jesus' name. If you use the power of Jesus' name, you can also speak life into things. That's your lesson for the day. But speak to the spirit, not to the physical. This is Apostle Nathaniel signing out. Bye-bye.